know a lot of coaches and managers, their sons there, what pride they must feel. And George Lombard is in that spot. His son, George Jr., uh, showcasing his skills in the combine. And he's, is he really going to be a, a first rounder first and foremost? But also he's playing multiple sports. He's doing it all. Yes, Lauren, good morning. George Lombard Jr., one of more than 300 players at the Draft Combine this week, and a great story. When I spoke recently with George Lombard Sr., the former Major League player and the current Tigers bench coach, one thing I want all of us to listen to carefully here is the way that George Lombard Sr. describes the impact that playing varsity soccer and actually winning a state championship in Florida has helped George Jr. prepare for a career in Major League Baseball. I can remember about six scouts coming in to see George play uh, soccer, and he played at Gulliver for a very, very good program run by Scott Davidson. Phenomenal coach, um, but taught the kids leadership skills. You could go in and see a baseball player in three games and not really see him move. You go in and watch five minutes of a soccer game, um, and the sprint speed, um, they, they track everything. Uh, they're running four to six miles in a game. Um, so it, it, it is in within five minutes, you see um, what type of athlete, you know, the stopping, the starting, the competing, going, you know, one on one with a player. Great photo there of the Lombard family, George and Judy with George Jr., and Jacob, and again, for them to win a state championship together in soccer, and there's a great photo of George Jr. and Jacob with the great Alan Trammell now that George Lombard Sr. is working with the Detroit Tigers. But one thing that, that George Sr. shared with me is that as a parent, we're always aware, okay, how is my child doing? Are they, are they comparing with their peers in, in different sports? And George said, you have to let that go a little bit and say, if maybe you're not focusing on the one sport all the time that you might be behind for a, a split second in time, but in the big picture, in the long run, you're going to get there. And I just think it was a great uh, piece of advice that George senior gave when I was just speaking with him recently and just sharing the stories. And you could just tell how much love there is in that family. And D-Row knows the family well, of course, by being uh, George senior's roommate there in the minor leagues. And I just think you can tell how much, as much as George Sr. has traveled in his baseball career, he's had his boys with him as much as possible. And I love the story he shared about how he 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 had to tell his sons, remember, when you're with the Dodgers, when it's Clayton Kershaw's start day, just maybe find a different day to ask a question <laughs> of Mr. That. Kershaw. We learned that last night in Anaheim. You know, your place in the game almost becomes secondary when the next version of you is there and you love them so dearly. Good luck to George Jr. JP, I was initially bummed with no field of dreams, but there is another game at a cool location coming soon. Tell us more. One of the coolest locations in our game, Rickwood Field. Next year, the Giants and Cardinals. And... I want to mention the name of the man who was quoted in the news release from MLB last just yesterday, and that's Willie Mays, the great Willie Mays. This is his hometown, mm. Birmingham, Alabama. He played for the Birmingham Black Barons, as he said in the release, 75 years ago. This is our opportunity to honor the legacy of the Negro Leagues, to be able to celebrate the Say Hey Kid himself, to bring Major League Baseball to Alabama. All these names you're seeing – on this roll of photos, they all played at Rickwood Field. Henry Aaron, Babe Ruth, mm. Jackie Robinson, Hannes Wagner in the minor leagues, Oscar Charleston, Josh Gibson, Larry Doby, Lauren, I could go on and on. This is simply, it's the oldest professional baseball stadium in continuous use in, in the United States. That's number one. And, and it's just a place that is so rich with history. The Birmingham Barons still play one game per year in this historic venue to celebrate the legacy of the Negro Leagues in Birmingham, of the, the baseball in, in Birmingham in general. And now we're going to be able to bring a major league game and a minor league game there almost exactly a year from right now. So, Lauren, I just cannot wait to see uh, what that scene will be like next June. Wow, to honor and reflect. It's special and important, really. JP, we turn our attention to League Leader segment presented by So Rare. It's a fantasy baseball game transforming fans into owners. So Rare is you collect, you buy, you sell, and you compete with digital player cards to win big rewards, win or lose. You still own your cards. JP, we're talking run-scored leaders. Who's at the top? 
Yes, the, the top run scorer in Major League Baseball right now, no surprise there, Ronald Acuna Jr. of the Atlanta Braves. How dynamic he has been. Now, in so rare scoring, Lauren, every run scored is worth three points. So with that dynamic Braves offense and his athleticism in general, Acuna scoring plenty of runs for the Braves. I think another name to keep an eye on in the run scoring leaders, this time on the American League side, Marcus Semien. He is there. I think he's going to get MVP votes this season for the Texas Rangers on a lot of ballots. He has been one of the catalysts for the Rangers' outstanding season, and I expect we'll see a lot of Rangers represented there in Seattle at the All-Star Game next month. And finally, Corbin Carroll. Lauren, we're now running out of adjectives to describe one of the more dynamic talents we've got in the game. D. Rose talked about him, broken down his swing, his athleticism. He has a skill set that we just don't see a lot of in the game, and I think he's going to be a, a trendsetter for a long time. And interestingly, Lauren, he is from the Pacific Northwest, so maybe he'll find a way to get to the All-Star game as well as you see the overall league leaders. Jonathan India with the Reds, they can't lose right now. Cattell Marte also part of that Diamondbacks lineup along with Corbin Carroll. And Josh Young, he is another name on that Texas Rangers lineup. He's 10th on that list of runs scored, one of the more impressive rookies we've got in Major League Baseball this season. I can't get over Corbin Carroll running the bases. I mean, he just, he just flies. He's different. JP, thanks so much. So rare managers. Thanks, Ronald Acuna Jr. is a league leader. Try and get him in your lineup today, Robert. Yeah, Lauren, not how to tell you that uh, this is the place to step up to the fantasy big leagues. Play so rare MLB now by scanning the QR code on your screen. Give you a little bit more time. Breeze is at four home runs this postseason. Breeze hits it in the air to center. We will see you tomorrow night. It's one of the greatest moments in Cardinals history. Coming up, the curious case of David Freeze declining the offer to be part of the Cardinals Hall of Fame. We'll dive into that when we return. Like I just got a deal. Dope the pain view. 85. Fine. Couple of them now. This is downstairs with a hard fastball. There's a soft hopper out to Bichette. Wings it over to first. It's a gorgeous day and now in tonight here in Florida. A little better. Off of every awning <laughs> as you were trying to grab lunch. Bar shows though for one. Down swing, his only time up against the number one prospect in double A with Miami. Wow. And he gets another strikeout. Formed like a big licker, to be sure. This is a Miami rotation that recently lost Edward Cabrera. Was supposed to be part of this rotation. The bag hard, turns the corner. The relay over at third. And again, Miami pulling the infield in early. Boy, is that? Jansen falls behind 0 at 2. Point of clarification. Chances down on strikes. First week in the majors. Good eye by Horwitz laying off 99 low. Past the reach of the pitcher. A rise from second. Bottom of the fourth inning. Springer with the stop sign up for Kiermaier. This is a pretty interesting Miami Marlins team. Got some outfield playing time. He's on the injured list currently and starting a major league rehab assignment. Third, whether you're the oldest guy in the clubhouse or you're the youngest guy and one of the newer players or a guy. Cooper fouls it back in the count. He's even at two and two. With the Cardinals into this managerial role personalities and it's ironic now guys that Schumacher coaches in the same Florida City he's got a rolling here in Miami and little by little you're starting to see a lot of belief 